well, as equally as important as everybody else on our staff. Um, like Coach Major said and we talked about, we share this thing. This is, uh, we're going to work together on this. Everybody's got a piece of the pie in this offense, and everybody's got a, a responsibility. They don't have jobs, they got responsibilities. And when we get that guy in and he fits with the character uh, that we're looking for in this staff and Coach Brown has already hired, then we're going to have the right guy, and it's just a matter of going, this is what our responsibility is. This is what we have to get done with these players. Let's go do it. Well, yeah, there's 10 years of offense now. You know, like I, like I tell a quarterback coming in, hey, I, I know this much of offense. Okay, I'm not going to put all this on you. What I'm going to do, based off the type of player you are, is pull this out, pull this out, pull this out. We're going to create your offense. Now, when you leave here, it's going to look like this, but it's going to be tailored to you. And that's no different here. We've got to find out what our personnel is, and that's what Coach Major and I are talking about. What's our personnel? What can we do with these guys? What do we have as far as numbers at certain positions? This is going to fit. This is going to fit. There's a base package, and from that base package, we're going to have the variety that we've learned over this time to put it in and say, okay, this fits best, and we're not putting the whole thing in, and we're going to build. And from over the years, Texas offense is going to have this much of a package right here, and that culture is going to be established. And when these kids come in from now on, these other kids are going to help them out, and we're going to continue to build from that point. Well, we're, we're, we'll get together on that. Um, I think we're all going to have input on that. I think that's the most important thing. Again, like anything, and I think this is so important, we are going to work together on this. And everybody's got their opinion on it, and I want to make sure everybody feels comfortable with what we're doing and the direction that we're going. So it'll be a, it'll be a collaborated effort. Well, you know what, I'll go back and watch the tape. And uh, when I played at Boise State, I went through four head coaches. And every year, hey, it was a clean slate. And you know what, it's a clean slate. These kids, we got a new system, we got new terminology, we got new things they have to learn. They're excited, they want to get going. And, and that can change a kid's mentality from where he was maybe before to where he's going. It's all about that mentality, it's about confidence. And these kids are going to feel good about, hey, I've got an opportunity now to come in here, clean slate, and prove myself again. And as a football player, that's what you want to do. That's the only thing you can ask for is, hey, give me a chance to prove myself. And we'll watch them on the field, and we'll utilize them the best way we feel we can. Do you still get the, the question about whether this offense would hold up against SEC competition and all that? And obviously, TCU, the victory they had, everyone just saw what that defense can do. Mm -hmm. Talk about how that offense has evolved into an offense that can stand up against Right. Well, I know this. There, there's a, a lot of ways to skin a cat, and there's a lot of different styles out there. And for whatever reason, this is one that we have developed at Boise and uh, that we will bring here that we feel comfortable with and has stood the test of time, to say. And uh, I think it's, uh, there's a lot of scheme. There's a lot of fun things and variety and movement and those type of things, but I, I believe this is how we go about it, the process how we teach these kids, how we prepare these kids, what these kids believe in, how they train. There's so much more to it than just putting out there and uh, just going X's and O's. And so it's a process. And that's what we have to try to establish is this process, this culture that we want to have, these expectations that we're going to have uh, for this offense. And, and when we do that, the X's and O's, the multiple formations, all those things are going to come together. Well, everybody knows about Texas, and uh, it's that simple. Uh, as a growing up, watching college football, being a fan, all you hear is Texas. And in uh, coaching, you know, uh, like Coach Brown said, um, they have been very, very successful. Their offense had been successful. And we always looked at teams and said, how are these guys doing this? And what can we do to be more like, like these teams? And Texas was always a team we were looking at. What can we do? I know that the, uh, the people here in Texas are tremendous, tremendous supporters of their program. And that's exciting. And uh, that's what fires me up about this place. Were you one of the, you one of the coaches that got together with the Texas men last 
No, you know what? I'll tell you this. Those guys, that was a sneak attack is what they did. I was, uh, I was somewhere else. I get a text saying they're at Texas. And I call them back. I'm like, well, thanks for inviting me. What, what's that all about? So I was, uh, you know, now it's, now it's kind of funny how things have worked out. But uh, I was kind of sitting there where I was at going, dang, I did, how come I didn't know about that? So I felt, uh, I felt left out. But no, I wasn't. Um, fortunately, yeah, I am now. Well, answer your first question. Um, the best thing about Coach Pete and I is, is I've been able to sit in his office and talk about situations like this over the years. And uh, he's been there to listen. Um, I, I've never looked at it as an employee-boss relationship. We're, we're friends. And uh, I always felt comfortable going in there and talking about it. Uh, any opportunities that might have come up. What about? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? And he's always given me his honest opinion, and he's always given me what I believe is the best scenario for me um, in his opinion. And I've always trusted him, always believed him. And uh, he was excited about this um, as much as he could be. I mean, leaving the staff is not uh, something that the head coaches want to hear. But at the same time, he felt like it was a great opportunity and he was excited for me, and, uh, and we left on great terms, and we'll continue to be friends. And the only thing I'm concentrating on job-wise is mine right now. That's it. Um, I'm not going to speculate on anything. I'm proud to be here. I'm excited to be here. I can't wait to be here completely and have my family here, and that's all I'm focused on right now. Brian, with all due respect, how old are you? I'm 34. <laughs> I had double nickels, Coach. I'm 55. Man, I'm glad you're here, though. I know I don't look 55. You don't look 34. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't. We'll start that. Yeah, for, I figured a couple last questions. Ryan, about the, the co offensive and coordinator situation. Right. What, you know, how was that presented to you? Why, you know, why will it work? Well, it's, it, it's going to work because of the way we do things. And again, like I've said, this whole thing from our offensive standpoint does not come from one person. It comes from the entire group. And as a coordinator, that's what it is. You're just kind of putting it all together. Everybody's ideas, you're just kind of putting it together and making sure that we're all on the same page. That's what our job is. And uh, the one thing when I came here and I sat down and uh, I think Major and I shook hands and we started talking ball. It was that fast. And it was so simple. It was so easy. And right away, I know that you know I've got a guy, and uh, that we're going to be able to be on the same page so quickly, and get this thing installed together. That uh, I felt very comfortable right away. Of uh, here we go. There, there's right now. There's two of us, and I know with, with Daryl Wyatt's experience, Bruce Chambers' experience, and who we bring in the O line, they're going to be guys that have been through this, and they're going to know how to put it in and install it. And there's going to be a lot of. Uh, a lot of good coaches in there with, with, with experience. And so that didn't matter. That, that's not, uh, it's not about those things. That's not our goal. It's not about titles. It's about going out there and, and working together and trying to put the best product with our players on the field when it's time. I did re -watch him, remember watching him play, and I was jealous because he played, and I didn't. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously, I mean, it's uh, – the situations, um, I can understand it now. I, don't, I didn't have the uh, success he did at the program, but I know, that the, I know the pride he has at Texas, and uh, I know what he's done for Texas. And uh, that's exciting, and it's exciting to, to be able to, to work with him. Um, and I, and I, I'm curious to watch all his old films. I'm sure he's going to pull it out so we can take a look at some of the touchdown throws he had. So we will.